quickest way. That one, but it's a bit rough. He's drowning, never mind rough. Oh, what's the point in getting your hair styled when <laughs> this thing ruins it? Stupid rules. Where's the fire? It's not a fire. Andrew's drowning. Out of the way. Who's Andrew? Oh, he's in the swamp. Who is Andrew? Who knows? Let's go. It's probably for the best I've been away for this past week. Why is that? Because Lisa and Stevie needed the time to plan my birthday party. Oh, right, right. So, um, Saturday, that's the big day, right? They probably got a welcome home celebration planned right now, too. Hello? Stevie? Lisa? Anybody? Where is everybody? Welcome back, Carol. Good holiday. Where is everybody? Oh, they rode off. They went over the spur. They're in a big hurry. Um, they took Starlight, so how am I supposed to get there? I'm glad he's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's so cute. Where's Andrew? He's okay, look. Andrew's a dog? Well, he's not a cat. We rode all this way for a dog? We thought it was a boy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come here, boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> How could a boy do that? Oh, Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi there. Oh, it's good to see you back. He's a good dog. Good, we so clever. You missed me, didn't you, Starlight? Didn't you? Hello, world. This is me. Life should be. Change your style. You are you. I and me will be free. Hello, world. This is me. Life should be. Mm -hmm, yeah. Fun for everyone. Hello, world. Come and see. This is me. Come on, baby. Carol's still outside. Go now. Don't blame me. I didn't name him. I was looking after him for me friend. Well, you're not doing a very good job. He almost drowned. Oh, he's so slobbery. Oh. I hope it's okay I borrowed Starlight, Carol. 
Belle was really tired. Oh, that's fine. Honestly, I'm just glad the dog's okay. So, got anything planned for this week? Not really. Same old, same old. Now they start to it now. Hey, listen up, everyone. First of all, well done to everyone who helped save poor old Andrew. I'll have the swamp fenced straight away. Now, I have a small announcement. Pine Hollow is going to play host to one of the finest event horses in France. His name is Hugo, and he's out of quarantine today. Now, Lisa, why is he coming here? Well, his owner is going to spend some time with us at Pine Hollow when her horse has been sent on ahead, so we get to look after him until she arrives. Come on, do it. Here's an announcement from my sister. Melanie is making a videotape for a school assignment on... The subject I've chosen is riding horses and Pine Hollow. So could I have you out in the ring, please, while the light is still good? Come on. We are gonna have some fun Riding horses in the sun Looking for adventure Riding with the wind It just makes you wanna sing We're on top of the world Feeling so high We just wanna be free We're on top of the world Having fun in the sun Just you and me Let's go! Okay. That was good, but I think we can do better. Lisa, could you put a bit more feeling into it? Feeling? I thought you wanted riding. Yeah, but you weren't doing it like you meant it. How was I, Melanie? You were good, Veronica. It's probably the acting lessons I've had. Yeah, that would be it. You'll never be able to compete with an actress. <sighs> you can make your own announcements in future, sis. I'll go through it again so you can pick up some pointers. Thanks, that'd be great, Veronica. Oh, look, that must be Hugo. Oh, Hugo. <gasps> I was told this was my best side. Professional. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Come on, boy, that's it. Push, Ashley. Wow. Out of the There it is. Never out of the top three places in last season's calendar. Uh, could you just sign to confirm delivery, please? Sure. Can you check the brand, please, Mum? <laughs> Half moon over A. He looks so good after all that travelling. Well, you can't be good breeding. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hugo be a dream to ride. You wouldn't be the one riding him, Carol. It'd be great to get a horse like that as a birthday present. Yeah, or a Christmas present. Or any time, really. <coughs> Go away! <sighs> Let's hope a thoroughbred from Europe will bring a bit of professionalism to Pine Hollow. Don't be a pain, Veronica. There's nothing wrong with Pine Hollow. Well, you've got nothing to compare it with. Once you've ridden in Europe, as I have, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll never know what you're talking about, Veronica, and I don't think a trip to Europe would help. Mm -hmm. What you don't get in Europe is a mongrel dog running around the stables and silly girls with cameras making a nuisance of themselves. My assistant here left the camera on standby for some of those shots, so can we try again? I've just untapped Prancer. Well, that's okay, Lisa, because I wasn't really asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some time till my mother picks me up. That'd be great, Veronica. I'll just go check my makeup.
somebody has stolen my wallet. Well, it wasn't me. Oh, come on, Veronica. It wasn't any of us. You've left it at home. I don't make mistakes like that. Somebody has stolen it. Like who? Somebody who's short of money. That goes for all of us. You think we're all in on it? This is not funny. Nobody's laughing, Veronica. Scooter was asking everybody for a loan this morning. So what else is new? He wanted to buy a new Game Boy. Reality check, Veronica. Scooter was a little busy this morning. When could he have done it? Haven't you noticed how he sneaks around? He's not sneaking around. He's installing computer cable. And Scooter only works here part time, but he's always hanging around. Because he's a friend. Friendship. You should try it sometime, Veronica. No, 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 please. I go blotchy when I'm upset. But this is like reality TV. Has anyone seen my boots? Size 10, pull-ons. I can guess what's happened to them. Really? They've been stolen. Yeah, right. What? On, on, brother. There's a thief at Pine Hollow. Oh, give us a break, Veronica. My wallet, now your boots. Don't listen to her, Max. Have a good look for it before you start accusing people. You just lost it. Is this a private fight? Or uh, can anyone join in? Nice game boy, Scooter. Cool, eh? Bet it wasn't cheap. <laughs> and here we were thinking you were broke. Huh? Scooter, what size boots do you wear? Size 10. Why? I didn't have all the money. So the guy in the shop let me fix his computer as part payment. Very generous. I had to supply the parts. I'd never steal from people here, Max. They're friends. Yeah, I know, Scooter. I suppose the things will turn up. It must be somebody else. Question is who? How would you feel? Cooped up in a jet for a day and then in quarantine for weeks. Of course you'd like a gentle trot around. I'd have to check it with Max first. It's a very valuable horse out there, Carol. Why bother Max? He's busy enough as it is. Always thinking of others, you girls. <laughs> and with Veronica screaming blue murder about a thief on the prowl, look, Red, I'll take Hugo for a gentle ride, cool him out, and have him back in the paddock in no time. I'll just finish up in here, and then I'll ask Max. I'll tack up while I'm waiting. This is a really bad idea. You and I are gonna be the best of friends, aren't we, Hugo? Yes, we are. Be careful, Carol. I mean, we don't know anything about his temperament. And he is French. Horses are the same all over the world. They don't have nationalities. Not like people. Even so, take it easy. Lisa? <coughs> And you did get permission, right? Red's asking Max. Asking? OK, Hugo, walk on. Hugo, walk on. Hugo? Hugo? Scoot is just so nice and cute. How could he be a thief? Oh, Christy. Christy, cute people can be thieves. You've got to look at the evidence. Everything points to him. I still can't believe it. Believe it. Scooter's bad to the bone. It could have been red, I suppose. No way. I mean, they're both just workers with no social background. I just wish everybody in the world were rich like us. Then there wouldn't be any problems. We'd all be happy. Mm but they'd still be the saddle club. They are so ordinary. Stevie and Lisa are so full of themselves over Carol's surprise party. What? The surprise party on Saturday. Everybody got an invite in their cubby hole. Everybody except me? Not, not that I care very much, but it's the principle. They're not gonna get away with this. It's strange. 
He doesn't feel like a trained horse, let alone a champion. Maybe he's having trouble moving in a different time zone. He's having trouble moving at all. to word with you. Veronica, what's your problem? What's your problem? How come everybody gets invited to the, no doubt, pathetic party on Saturday, but not me? I put an invitation in your locker. Don't lie to me. I did! So how come I didn't get it? My bag's gone. Well, we all know what happened to that, don't we? Do we? Scooter strikes again. Scooter, you're the one hiding. Maybe you're the thief. How dare you? Carol, Max wants to see you. I wonder why. Uh, about the new horse, I think. I guessed. Danny, did Stevie or Lisa mention anything to you about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. The day after Friday. Uh, like what? Like, if they were doing anything special? Special... Ugh, never mind. You should have got permission. I asked Red to ask you. Nice try, Carol, but it's customary to wait for a reply. Yeah. Sorry, Max. Hugo's a big horse. He could have injured you. No way. He's the quietest horse I've ever sat on. Hugo? Are you sure he's a champion event horse? Well, absolutely. Why? He didn't obey any of my commands. Well, maybe he didn't understand your accent. <laughs> maybe. Listen, Carol, you haven't noticed Scooter behaving suspiciously, have you? Max, you know Veronica. She gets everything wrong. Yeah? She thought Angie was a boy. Well, he is, isn't he? No, a human boy. Right. Veronica just lost her wallet. Yeah, I guess. Max! My bag has gone missing. Now, you sure you've got it turned on? Yes. And now stables are famous all over the world. Just today, a horse arrived from France. The French said, wee oui, wee oui, to Pine Hollow. Cut. Now let's get Hugo up against the sky. I like operating the camera. Can't I do that for a change and you do the horse? Ashley, I just don't think that you're ready to direct yet. Being a director is more than just pointing the camera, you know. Now take Hugo over there. Ugh. It's not fair, Melanie. Give me a turn. <laughs> Get away from me, you horrible thing. Oh, leave me alone, you animal! Get him away from me! Call him Andrew. Then he'll obey you. He's your lookout, isn't he? No. He's a dog. I know what you're up to, Scooter. Yeah. I'm installing computer cable. Always with the cover story, eh? Let me get this straight. You were just walking along next to the yard, minding your own business, and then suddenly Hugo jumped the fence and galloped off? <sighs> he jumped the yard fence? Do you know how high that fence is, Melanie? Try this high. I could hardly get him to walk, let alone jump. 
It wouldn't have happened if I was directing. You weren't trying to video Hugo, were you? You said you wouldn't tell. How it happened doesn't matter now. Just tell us which way he was heading. It was hard to say. Which way? That way. Come on. Dorothea Dutte is arriving next week. Dorothy Dutte? Isn't she the French junior champion? She's coming here to Pine Hollow? Mm-hmm. And her first question will be, where is my horse?